welcome back to my channel today's video is vlogtober day two and I'm pretty much just spending the entire day at the salon I'm gonna try to fit in as much as I can in today's video but it is a short video because of that um, I hope that you enjoy and please make sure you comment and like this video so I of course y'all saw earlier that I was getting my hair done and I think she started at 10 o'clock, 10.30. Um, and she washed my hair. She retied my hair. And she really moisturized my scalp, which needed help. But as I was leaving, Zuri was going in. Because she does all of our hair, my whole family. Except Zorin and Ashan. Um, so Zuri's ready to get picked up and I'm headed to get him he's so excited to be getting his hair done y'all I have to show you I'm gonna put like a little picture of him of his hair she sent me a picture she was like look at Zuri's hair blown out like she blew his hair out washed it and stuff um, which I didn't think his hair was that long I was thinking maybe uh his hair was short and I didn't think he would be able to get it like done I still don't know what he chose normally like Zoe Grace when she gets her hair done she's letting me know what she chose she looks at Pinterest and she's like this is the style that I'm going for or something similar to this style and I'm always like okay you know as long as it's not like looking too grown up because I know she's 11 and there are a lot of 11 year olds out there that um that is uh wearing really grown up hairstyles I don't believe in that for girl, little girls or young girls so whatever Zoe has whatever she gets she gets with her natural hair we don't do the extensions and stuff like that I wish she could do braids but she just can't take it she can't take the pain um so yeah hey y'all you know when I do my vlogs I feel like I never stop and say hey how are y'all doing I never say, um, you know, like, you know, comment, subscribe, share. I don't say that stuff simply because while I, I do want that, I don't want to sound like a robot every single time. Uh, I'm very mindful of that. Like if I do it too much, so you'll see pretty much on my vlogs, a little thing that pops up on the screen that says subscribe. Um, and that's pretty much all I I do. But I do want to go on record to say that I am so thankful for each and every one of you guys that sit and stop and watch and support my channel because, I mean, and I've been doing this for only three years and it has not been stressful at all. I mean, I've had a lot of like long days trying to edit and do things, but um, I just want to say that I truly enjoy this. This is something that I do, not just for me, but definitely for my family. Like, you know, that whole trip, like in yesterday's vlog of, you know, us going to the eye doctor and, you know, we try to split it up. So me and Zuri, we go the beginning part of the year and Zoe and Ashan will go at towards the end of the year. Zadrin. He has his own insurance through his company that he works for, so he doesn't go with us. He goes on his own. I say all that to say that, you know, you guys watching, supporting, you know, sharing, commenting, coming back, being loyal and faithful helps with things like that. Like that is like me as a homemaker, I I love what I do here at home. Being a homemaker is a true sacrifice for me because I have been I have been raised to work. I have been a working girl pretty much my entire life, and to be home is to me. To me, it might not be the same for everyone else, but for me, being home is much harder than going and you know working a nine to five. I don't take this for granted at all. Um, I am so happy to be able to to do this in this season in my life um but youtube is something that i truly do as a ministry um to not just not just give back 
to my family, but to also encourage other moms, wives, and, and homemakers, or women in general, who just don't believe that living this type of life is possible for them. It is 100% possible. What you will need to live this life and not go crazy though is you will need the lord <laughs> you will need the lord every single day um i read and i pray and i journal every day and i do that for not just my mental health but just you know for everybody who comes in contact with me i want to make sure that um that you know i i put out good things and not just like oh look at me look at my life that's that's not what this is about I've applied for jobs and I knew that I wasn't supposed to do that and because the reality is is that it is hard living on one income right and so one thing my husband said to me is like why not make YouTube you're getting paid from YouTube why not make YouTube your full-time job and you know it's like a little light bulb went off and i was just like oh and he was like you're doing you're still able to do and be present 100 percent here you're not you know the kids are still you know they still need you we can sacrifice like this is a sacrifice worth this is something worth sacrificing our kids having us present is worth it and you know, I had to sit, like I said, I had to sit with that and understand that me applying for jobs, while I know things get hard and times get tough, it was really selfish and they, like it was selfish of me. He completely and fully supports my channel. Um, and that's why y'all are seeing more of me because of him. And he's just like, no, you know, we're homeschooling. You know, everything is good. God has been faithful to us. I say all this to say for the mom who is a homemaker and feel like, oh, I want to go and work and do something extra. Um, I think one of the things that having a YouTube channel has taught me is to um, have patience and to just trust the process. Christian, good luck. Hey, Zuri, you like it? Mm -hmm. All right. Need to get some haircuts. You need to get a haircut? Well, you have. Take your glasses off for a second. Okay. Okay. Say hey. Show them your hair. Turn. It's so cute. Look. You like it? Yeah. You know?